Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. This is my week 9 weight loss update. No weight loss! What happened? No weight loss! I did not lose anything this week. This is week 9, I'm on summer size and I'll tell you exactly what happened. You remember in my last video I was talking about how I went off the diet on Saturday and was feeling bloated and sick and horrible? Well guess what? When I went on the scale the following day I had gained a pound and a half. It took me the entire week literally the entire week to lose that pound and a half that I had gained with that one night of eating off the plant. So it just proves to show that when you don't eat right, you gain weight. And that's what causes us to regain all the weight we had lost in the first place. So the plan here, and it's always been like that with Susan Summer's diet, is that when you go off the plan, as soon as you go off the following day, you go back to what she calls level one of the diet, which is absolutely no combination of carbohydrates with pro fats okay protein and fats and only proteins with fats carbohydrates with non-fat and fruit eaten alone it took me the week to recover i kid you not so i'm back on track yesterday was saturday i stayed on track i did not put myself in a position where i was gonna regain the one pound and a half that i had lost and struggled to lose so a lot of you are asking me to do kind of like a uh, blog type journal as to what I'm eating. I just keep on forgetting. I'm just like I'm getting caught in the moment all the time. So I'm going to give you examples of food. All right. A pro fat meal would be something like this. The other day I had a burger patty, beef with cheese over it. I had grilled asparagus with olive oil and spices over it and because I wanted to have something that was kind of like a starch but not actually a carbohydrate, I had a puree of cauliflower. Delicious, all right, with butter in it and all sorts of spices. So that was a large plate so this is an entirely protein fat meal and I would have a salad on the side with a vinaigrette that has no sugar. Okay, so here's an example. For lunch, as a protein fat example, I would have a leftover of the uh, uh, rack of lamb that we had the other day. So I had a big piece of lamb with the olive oil on it and all the spices and everything. And I had it chopped in little pieces and I put it on top of a salad that was just mixed grains with tomatoes, a vinaigrette on it, no sugar in the vinaigrette, and cube cheeses. That was a big plate and that was lunch, okay? An example of a breakfast for me would be what I had talked about the first time that I did the summer size video would be three poached eggs with some um, cheese or if I'm having a carbohydrate I'll have a fat-free yogurt with some shredded wheat in it or some um, bran or you know some kind of heavy-duty fibery type cereals with the least amount of sugar with tina usually is the best but you have to cook it um so that's that so here are examples again you can't mix the carbohydrate with fat and protein and you only eat fats with proteins or proteins with fat vegetables all around they cannot be uh, sugary veggies like peas um, or starchy veggies like beans or uh, chickpeas for instance or um, carrot that would have sugar in it okay so that's basically the premise that's the kind of meal that we're having the other day we had pizza for the kids uh, it was frozen pizza and we had a chicken pizza for the adults what I did is that because I did not want to step out of the diet what I did was basically scrape everything that was on the pizza the cheese the chicken the tomatoes the vegetables and I ate that threw away the uh, uh, crust I just like threw it away and I'm doing good so far I think I continue to lose this week at least even though I didn't lose anything I'm feeling thinner definitely thinner and I have one of those Tanita um, scales that also calculates your fat percentage, BMI, whatever it is. And I started the diet at 28% fat. I am now 24%. So a lot of you have asked me if I'm measuring anything. I did not measure myself, you know, with the, uh, um, you know, arms or anything because I lose everywhere and it just... I don't know if I don't find it helpful what I look like and how my clothes fit on me is what's helpful but that particular scale is telling me that I'm not 24% so I actually lost 4% of body fat 
during the last uh, four weeks. All right, so that's one percent a week. Not bad. I'm not sure what the ideal percentage is for my height. I'm five five. I'm still one sixty seven point five. But according to the Mayo Clinic, I should be my weight should be between one twenty five and 155. 155 would be the maximum I should be. After that, I would be considered overweight. So I'm not considered obese. I'm considered overweight right now. I'm 167.5. I'll take it. It's a fact. I am overweight. Okay. So this is it. This is my update. I'm sorry I didn't lose anything this week. I'm not upset about it. I mean, come on. I'm doing good. I'm still on track. I'm maintaining a weight loss and I am still focused on losing more. Again, my goal is to go down below 143. Underneath 143, anything, I'll be happy. Um, when I got married, I was 159. So that would be really, really good for me. All right. So that's it. That was my update for week nine. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and you want to, and you want to make sure you don't miss the next update. Tell me down below how you're doing. Did you read the books from Summer Size and Susan Summers yet? If you did, what do you think of them? And if you are on the plan, tell me down below how much you lost this week. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!